Ah, uh, Burnett Bronco. Being a longtime San Franciscan, it's hard for it not to be one of my all-time favorite Amaros. Why? Well, over a third of the Fernet in the U.S. is consumed in the Bay Area, and if you work in the hospitality or alcohol business at all, you pick up a pretty regular imbiber of it, so much so that it's commonly known as the bartender's handshake. For those of you not familiar with Fernet Branca, it's an Italian Amaro, often used as a digestive. It's a blend of 23 herbs, botanicals, and roots, and Fernet Branca buys over 70% of the world's saffron. The world's saffron. You know, that thready little spice that's more expensive than gold per ounce. It's fun fact, I know. Another fun fact is that Fernet Branca is an almost 180-year-old company, and it's still family-owned by the fifth generation. So while it's widely distributed and available, it does indeed fit our definition of craft here at the Crafty Cast, which is great. But I'm not here to wax poetic about Fernet Branca today. That's for another video entirely, hopefully one that will bring me to Italy to do it. What I am here to talk about today is the national drink of Argentina from my recent trip there and my subsequent obsession, <laughs> the fabulous Fernet and Coke. Now first, a disclaimer. I am not a soda drinker at all. But since trying my first Fernet & Coke in Buenos Aires, my fridge is now always stocked because I love this drink so much. So it's obviously a very simple drink, only two ingredients, but it's such a magical drink. Why? Well, I fully believe that the combination of the caffeine in the soda and the medicinal qualities of the herbs, botanicals, and Fernet make it the perfect drink to start your night. It wakes you up after whatever long, busy day you had, and it preps your stomach for the future food and drinks ahead. Now, I can't promise this to anyone, but after my first one in Buenos Aires, I had one every single night after that, and I didn't have a single hangover the entire time I was in Argentina, even when drinking all day in wine country in Mendoza. I credit the Fernet and Cokes, because let's be honest, I certainly was not restraining myself on the booze. So, how do we make this magical drink? While simple, the ratios are important and this is my favorite. So first, you need a tall glass. Next, you wanna pour, I say 40% Fernet. I know it feels like a lot, but maybe because I'm not a soda drinker, I just prefer more Fernet to Coke. Then I do about halfway with ice. So you leave about 20% room at the top. So ultimately what you want here is 40% Fernet, about 20% Coke, and the rest ice. Ooh. Hold on. Now, I'm not being precise with my measurements here. I know that. Honestly, it feels kind of silly to measure such a simple drink. And, you know, if you don't have this perfect glass size, your ratios might, or the, the measurements would change a little bit, but the ratios won't. So I think that 40 20 kind of rule is where it's at, for me, anyways. Um, Let's try and see what we think. Mm. Perfect. Just that kiss of sweetness from the soda, but that medicinal kind of quality. So honestly, next time you have a long day and an even longer night planned, try one of these first um, before you go out and let me know how it goes. Simple, delicious. I love it. Fernet and Coke. Until next time, drink craft and drink local. Cheers. I'm back. As a quick reminder, the Crafty Cask is a scrappy little startup, but we have big ideas and plans to help all of you discover and drink amazing craft alcohol. So if you like what you see, please hit like and leave us some comments below. The more support we get, the more we'll be able to create even better content for all of you and bring our amazingly fun vision to life. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here or our mailing list here. Thanks so much and happy craft drinking.